Keyboard shortcuts are all about allowing you to navigate your ServiceNow instance both quickly and easily. And right now, I'm going to show you three keyboard shortcuts to make life a breeze in your ServiceNow instance. All right, so I'm going to hop over to my personal developer instance. I'm in Tokyo. And by the way, depending on whether you're on Mac or Windows, you'll use either Control Option if you're on Mac or Alt Control if you're on Windows. The first keyboard shortcut I'll show you, this is if you are the sysadmin user. And that will be to impersonate a user. So to impersonate a user is Control Option I. And we'll go ahead and close this dialog box. So as you see, the Select User to Impersonate dialog box opens. We'll close it for now. The next one is Control Option G or Alt Control G. It opens up the global search fu function. And Control Option C opens the All menu. We'll close this down for now. Now, keyboard shortcuts are on by default. Let's go over to the User menu. I'm going to go to Preferences, Accessibility. Go to the bottom left and you see Enable Special Keyboard Shortcuts is toggled on. We can toggle this off and that will disable keyboard shortcuts. I'll close the dialog box and try those same keyboard shortcuts to no avail. Not a good thing. Let's go back and toggle that on. Preferences, Accessibility, Enable Special Keyboard Shortcuts, we'll toggle that back on. Okay, now we can also, as a sysadmin, we can also control the use of keyboard shortcuts for all users. Let's go to user preferences. And it's going to be under the user administration application. So as we go there, now we want to search for this glide record here glide.ui.keyboard.shortcuts.enabled. So I'm going to go to the name. I'm going to do asterisk shortcuts.enabled. So three records come up. I want to draw your attention to the top two. Let's go to the user column. And on the user column, we see the first one is sysadmin and the second one is empty. The second one applies to all users. The first one applies to the system administrator. So we're going to open the second one, which applies to all users. We'll change the value to false. Now this will turn off keyboard shortcuts. We'll change the value to false and select update. Now let's impersonate a user. We'll go to the user menu, upper right hand corner, select impersonate user. We'll select Beth Anglin. Select the impersonate user button. Now as Beth Anglin, since we just turned off keyboard shortcuts, nothing should work. So let's do control option C, control option G, no bueno. Let's go ahead and end this impersonation. Let's go back and adjust that glide record, record. So we'll do that by going to history, user preferences, changing the value from false, returning it to true, and being sure to select update. Now, do you remember how to impersonate a user? Do you remember that keyboard shortcut? It was control option I. We'll impersonate Beth Anglin again. Select the Impersonate User button. Now as Beth Anglin, we should be able to use our keyboard shortcuts. Let's try it by doing Control Option C. This should open the All menu, and it does. Let's end this impersonation. I am all for it. Anything that's going to make life easier, be it a keyboard shortcut or anything else, I am for it. Now be sure to meet me in the next video, and I will see you there. Let's go.